Now, what's your so-called evidence? It can't be just word of mouth, right? Right. You <laughs> know, it can't be Ben told you this because I don't know. Ben don't know, right? I'm knocking Ben upside the damn head, so no, right? And the only place the men are together is in the bunk area, right? Right? Right. Now, if you get the top or middle bunk, right? Right? Or bottom bunk, right? Those are your only three choices on the ship. But, uh, now, if you have a wet dream or not, that's not them raping you, right? <laughs> By the way, by the way. And you carry around pictures of naked women. <laughs> by the way, by the way. You're outnumbered anyway if Ben or King wouldn't train me. All right. See, I can't train myself. I've never been on the ship before. I've never seen any of the equipment. Not even in A school. The most you might have seen in A school is kitchen equipment. And that wasn't the section I was working in. I was working either in the generator shop or the motor rewind shop. <laughs> and the other two was battery or, um, again, um, the battery shop or um, there was one area, other area, I think, maybe. Right? But that those are the basic three shops you had. Right. Now, mm -hmm. all right, right. The thing is, you cannot insert false memories for me, right? I'm already imagining enough to begin with. <laughs> I don't need you adding to my dilemma if they rape me or not and black me out, right? Because, see, that's what it would come to, right? You don't think I can tell a man no and mean it? <laughs> And that he would have to rate me from that point on. And I mean, we're, we're not talking someone who don't know martial arts since he was 13, right? I know martial arts since I was 13, right? And I was pretty damn good at it. I wasn't perfect, you know. I didn't mean every tournament at first. Right? But when I started getting up in the rankings, I started doing better and getting first place trophies, right? My mom can at least attest to that fact that I got the trophies, right? If nothing else, then I don't have them anymore, right? Because they're old trophies. They, they tear up. They go wherever. I know. That don't really mean nothing if you're in a fight anyway. It's how you handle yourself when someone throws a punch or not, right? <laughs> Now, if they got weapons, who do you think's going to win? <laughs> them? <laughs> That's rape. Rape is not consensual sex, idiot. You're saying no. <laughs> you don't have a choice then. But who am I dating? Women. Right. Now. I don't care if you're gay. <laughs> Yourself. Are you up sex with me? Right. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about me not wanting sex with me. Right. As a straight man. If you believe you're gay and you give in to the bullies, that's fine. Right. Right. But I didn't believe I was gay. I didn't give in to the bullying. Right. I went out with girls. <laughs> Asked my friend Myron Zipper and David Maddox. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to date girls. <laughs> we all were. We all were. <laughs> Even Russell and Donald Chance and Ray Chance. Kind of. Though he might have went gay, I think. Right. But again, that's not someone you'd even know. <laughs> The thing is, though, right. you can't put words in my mouth. <laughs> You're not me to do so. 
No one likes it when you do that either. Either. Dr. Zoloft sucks what? <laughs> In your understanding of how to deal with other human beings. I know. You're, you might be a doctor, but your bedside manner needs freaking work. You're so screwballed in the head, you can't tell the difference between a straight man, a gay man, or a bi man. Right. That's not a good doctor. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> You're not a good doctor. You don't listen to your patient. <laughs> the patient has only been with women that he knows of. Right. The men would have to black him out and rape him and... Jesus would actually have to heal him, too, and shit like that. But we're talking... <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. For me to ever be with a man, right? <laughs> we're talking miracles straight from God. <laughs> if it's between me and men, right? Because I would fight them to the death. Do you understand what that means? Even if they killed me, they wouldn't get my ass. <laughs> You know what that means, right? <laughs> Have you ever fought someone to the death? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> that means they at least knocked you the hell out and you didn't appear to be breathing to them. Right. And they thought you were dead. <laughs> Do you know what that means, Dr. Zoloft? Sucks. <laughs> Do you know what that means? And, uh, if you're fighting them to the death, <laughs> and would fight them to the death and tell them no, <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not gay. Now you can do that by what part of the Constitution? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech gives you the right to say you're a straight man, a gay man, or a bi man. Right. Clearly it does. Clearly it does. But if you say you're straight, you're straight. I don't care who's telling you crap or not. Because <laughs> me and Ben Campbell were never friends. <laughs> and we damn sure weren't lovers. <laughs> and if he told you that crap, when did he tell you? Where did he tell you? And he would have to tell it to his VA doctor. Right. Lying out his ass. Lying out his ass. Because the only thing I know is we fought over it. I knocked him upside the damn head. He pushed me through a tin wall. And Lieutenant Guzman made us fix it and then put me in a different division. Right. If you got to fight someone, you're telling them, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> You gotta kick someone's ass. <laughs> you're telling them, no, you're not gay. <laughs> if they're making you fight over it, you're telling them, no, you're not gay. And you can tell someone that. That's freedom of speech, too. That's freedom to tell people you're straight, gay, or bi. It works all three ways, by the way, President Biden. Do you understand that? I can tell someone I'm straight. Because I'm straight. I can tell someone if I was gay, which I'm not. <laughs> or bi, which I'm not. <laughs> I have the right under freedom of speech, under my constitution, to tell them no. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> and if I got to fight them to the death, I'll fight them to the death. If they want to kill me over it. <laughs> but then they're attempting to murder me. Then they're attempting to murder you. To keep me quiet, by the way, by the way. They don't care if they beat me after that. Right. The worst they can do is throw me overboard. <laughs> I'm serious. I am serious. <laughs> now, I told you I was on the 12 the fours the last year I was on the ship, which was in 93, right? Do you not wake up someone on the 12 the fours to make sure they make it to muster on time? Normally, yes. And you're a good sailor. <laughs> you wake him up. You wake him up. <laughs> you make sure he makes it to muster on time. Or you're fucked in the head. 
Excuse my French there, YouTube. <laughs> Do you understand? No, no. <laughs> you have a right to be gay, but I have a right to be straight, too. And I have a right to tell people I'm straight and not gay. <laughs> not every man wants to be gay with you, MS. That's all I'm saying. No, no, it is. <laughs> Not everybody wants a piece of A, literally. You know? I want a piece of P. You know? Not the A. Not the A. <laughs> you know what the P is, right? <laughs> or V. You know? <laughs> or a Yoni. Not a... <laughs> what do they call it? No, no. I forget. <laughs> the other word. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, a phallic symbol, whatever they call it. Phallic. <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs> a lingam. lingam. That's, it. That's it. I don't want a lingam, right? Now, is there a problem with people telling people they're straight, gay, or bi? Period, period. There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be. All three. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> no. Cause see, you don't know me, I you know. And you got me all paranoid that some girl is sneaking over here or something, or something happened with the Comcast trans girl. You're telling me now she was transgendered. You weren't even here to meet her. <laughs> and you know more about it than me, you lying suck of crap! You're such a liar, Dr. Zoloff. Oh, I hate to see you on the judgment day. That's all I got to say. <laughs> There is a judgment day coming for you, too. You don't have to believe in hell to go to hell. <laughs> you never do. You never do. It's not until you die and waking up in the lake of fire like the rich man anyway <laughs> that you would be there. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is trying to save us all. <laughs> God only knows how. <laughs> That's what we're telling you. We don't even know how he's trying to save us, but he's trying to save us on that. <laughs> even Satan, too, probably. He's the stubborn rebel who's going to go to the lake of fire with his angels if they don't repent. Right. Because they did something wrong, too. Yes. And they taught us the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. And again, we keep telling you whether you believe the truth or not, we know the truth will make us free, right? And it's not our job to sugarcoat it, change it, or disagree with any scripture in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You're disagreeing with about two-thirds of it. Mm -hmm. yes, you are. yes, you are. More than you think. <laughs> and you don't even see how. And you don't even see how. You're so conditioning yourself away from the truth that I don't know how Jesus can show you the truth in a thousand years or maybe by the end of that week, which is 7,000 more years. Mm -hmm. Now, you give him another week, he might can show you all the truth, even Satan himself. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, what happens after the great white throne judgment is we're supposed to have peace for so long, right? Mm hmm Now, here's an interesting point. 14,000 years is two weeks, right? Right. 14,000 years is two weeks, right? What's 21,000 years? Three weeks. Three weeks. The Lord's time is not as your time, Satan, men, carnal, driven by desires of sex, blood, and guts, and war, and rumors of war. You will have your judgment day, Putin. You will have your judgment day, Kim Jong-il, or Un. <laughs> You will have your judgment day, President Xi. Right. We know your names in heaven and whether they're written in the Lamb's Book of Life or not. Right. 
And if they're not, you're going with Satan and his angels to the lake of fire. The only way you might get out is if you truly repent, I think. <laughs> now, the question is, if God resurrects both the just and the unjust after the millennial reign of Christ during the last week, which is seven days of 7,000 years, by the way, dummy, <laughs> It takes at least 3,000 years, <laughs> two to three, two to three, <laughs> to even correct if God calls down fire from heaven to destroy everything, right? Like John said, right? In Revelation, right? He's destroying the earth again. <laughs> How many times have he destroyed it since then? More than once. <laughs> This ain't the first merry-go-round. Ask the Hindus. Ask the Buddhists. Ask. <laughs> they might know something you don't want to deal with, Christians. And you're too carnal to see it. And you're too carnal to see it. And that's the problem with us all. I know. We're all too carnal to see the truth sometimes, right? And only the truth makes you truly free. Right. Not a lying Dr. Zoloff self. Which he did. <laughs> and I'm trying to talk to you like a human being. Right. But I can't seem to get a word in edgewise. Because you're thinking that everybody's gay. Right. I guess. <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> Only someone who's a rapist, gay person, would think that. <laughs> By the way, who rapes people into being gay. And, and they, that makes them gay, too. No, it don't, by the way. Mm -hmm. Rape is making someone a victim. Right. And again, you're not listening. You're not listening. <laughs> I check the, for the dipstick. <laughs> if there's a dipstick, I quit. <laughs> if there's no dipstick, I don't quit. Molly didn't have a dipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Bo, Denise, <laughs> Daphne, <laughs> Lisa, Tanya, <laughs> All right, <laughs> Michelle <laughs> didn't have a dipstick, right? Mm -hmm. If she did, I would simply stop, right? If she had one, right? And say, Whoa, wait a minute now. <laughs> You're one of those Vietnamese guys. No, I'm not into that. Right. <laughs> See, and then I would stop her from having sex with me. Right. <laughs> if she has a penis. <laughs> See, to be with me and you're trans, you got to have the full surgery. <laughs> there can't be a thing down there. Right. The thing is why you got to use a men's or a women's or a family room bathroom. Right. If you still got it, they don't want you around their kids. You don't get that, idiot. Right. Has nothing to do with your personal views. They don't give a freak. I wouldn't either. I don't want you around my child. Right. And going to the bathroom with my kid. <laughs> you don't understand that? <laughs> if you still got your penis, you're still a man. You're still a man. <laughs> you ain't. Made the full transition. Right. See, then you can use the woman's bathroom. You're trying to be your own woman. Right. But some of you want to go Buffalo Bill on us. That's what we're worried about. Silence of the Lamb type gay people. Right. Or trans people. Right. It's the silence of the lambs that's the problem for gay people and trans. Right. Sometimes you want to hurt straight people as much as you think they want to hurt you. Right. 
And then you're just returning the violence back to each other. Mm -hmm. You're both being violent, and violence solves no problems, right? And don't fix a goddamn thing, right? Excuse my French, right? But it don't fix nothing, right? All it makes you is shoot people who you don't even know because you think you're a righteous soldier of God, and God never said any of that, right? And see, if I'm dealing with gay people, it's one-on-one, -on -one, right? But not because I go to the gay clubs and try to dance with the men, right? right? I go to the clubs where there's men and women, right? And they seem to be dancing men and women, not men and men. Not men and women. <laughs> That's another thing I know. Or I go to the duty bar where you have the, the pretty stripper on the pole, <laughs> And you don't see a slit. <laughs> now, some know how to hide it well, right, RuPaul? And that's cool. Well, that's cool. For RuPaul. Right. I don't care about RuPaul dressing up and drag all he wants to. Right. But I ain't going to pay him to do it. I ain't going to go see his damn show to do it. <laughs> I ain't got no money for it. <laughs> Not personal. <laughs> but I ain't going to go see it. <laughs> But okay, if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> you can go see it all you want. <laughs> if that's what folks your boat, fine. All right. But don't tell me how I feel. <laughs> no one likes that. All right. At all. I know. Dr. Zoloff, Dr. Sucks, whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> you might be dealing with gay feelings. I don't know. <laughs> But if you are, take them somewhere else, please. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> you can feel gay. Right. But not for a straight man. Right. <laughs> the straight man's going to shoot you down and tell you, no, I'm not gay. Right. If you don't know that, you're playing dumber than dirt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and even dirt ain't that dumb. <laughs> Even the dirt cried out when Abel's blood was spilled by his brother King. And it's probably over a female. Mm -hmm. <sighs> What's going on besides Cain after that getting married to his wife? <laughs> Who was? What's her name? Lilith. The second. <laughs> She's triple X too, right? Do you know what I mean? She has triple X gene. She has an X and an XX. Right. From Adam. From Adam. She's the real Lilith, by the way. She's triple X. Right. Meaning she has two genes. Right. One from Adam, one from Mrs. Satan. Mrs. Satan. <laughs> You've been looking for the daughter of the devil itself. You're looking for an angel in white. <laughs> You're looking for a woman who's a little of both, but you can fill her, but she's nowhere in sight. What do you think that means? <laughs> Who do you think came married? <laughs> there was only two. <laughs> Cain and Abel born. <laughs> you know they were born as twins, right? <laughs> Like Esau and Jacob. <laughs> but they were different looking boys. <laughs> like Esau and Jacob. And some say, oh, well, this is the Satan gene. Yes, the fuck it is. What do you think made us 2% less than what we were before we fell? Okay. Okay. You understand? Sex is the only thing that can do that. With an angel. With an angel. Who you weren't supposed to have sex with, by the way. That would fuck you up. <laughs> As they say. Excuse my French there. <laughs> I don't have a filter. I don't know how to edit. I ain't went to L.A. film school for editing yet. <laughs> and I wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> Now, you only got maybe a thousand more years before the millennial reign. That's why one day is called the day of the Lord, the day of wrath. Right. 
after that, it's called the millennial reign. <laughs> See, today of wrath is the one you need to fear, right? If you're still following Satan, right? You got the last thousand years, right? With Satan, see. Then he's cast into the bottomless pit for a thousand years, right? By abandonment, right? Then he's released for two, three more thousand years, right? He's raised again to be a man, right? How do I know? Isaiah 14. Read it. Well, they will look upon him and say, Is this the man? Ish. He will look as if male. Mm -hmm. Though he's not a man. Mm -hmm. Either. Either. He will have a member, but nothing underneath. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> he will be as a worm in no man, too. Do you know what that means? Do you know why a woman would say to a man, you're a worm in no man? Right. And hope he gets beaten to death, right? As Christ was to cover our sins, Ruth. You know, covering something don't totally remove it automatically, Sheena. Daphne, Ruth. You gotta confess it too, Ruth. You gotta confess your sins, and then he's faithful and just to forgive you your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's what the book's about. And I am an amnesiac man. Right. You can't disprove that through the courts. You'll go to jail yourself if you bring me an underage girl. Yes, you will. Any adult who knows the child's under 15 goes to jail first. Right. And I didn't know. I asked a woman's age for a very specific reason. Right. And you can lie all you want to, Michelle. I can't stop you. But you had the choice. <laughs> Fix the cable, have sex, or leave. <laughs> That's your three choices. That's why you're there, right? <laughs> now, one of those became an option if I showed up naked, <laughs> Half dressed anyway, as I was trying to put on my clothes. If you said, Don't worry about it. <laughs> now, do you want to discuss it for real, face to face again? Or lie some more, Michelle? <laughs> I'm the one lying down. You're the one lying down, right? And I would ask you, do you have a boyfriend, a husband, or fiance or anything? <laughs> Trying to explain what I was doing, right? And because I know me. Right? I don't have to just know you to have sex with just you, right? All you got to do to have sex with someone is say yes, no, or maybe, right? <laughs> and you can be mad about it all you want, doctor! What is that going to prove? That I like sex with women? That you're an a-hole? That you think by being an a-hole, you can prove I did something I didn't do? No, you can't. You want to try this in a court of law? You'll be so backed up with red tape, you won't even know the meaning of the word. <laughs> mm -hmm. You'll never get out of court. <laughs> And that's what you tell her. That's what you tell her. And that's what he told her, right? <laughs> and I told you what he would tell her if she did something with him or not, right? And he told you what he would tell her, right? And how he would treat her and explain it, and right, right. even if he went a little off character, right? 
But I don't say nothing about if someone comes into your house and that's a female and it's a new technician. And you're not sure of, only you hear a female's voice answer you when you ask her name and she says, Michelle, right? Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. <laughs> if you want to keep playing games, sue me. Because <laughs> I also told her I was mentally ill and blah, 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 right? You told her everything you could think of in a few minutes. Yep. <laughs> to explain why you were half dressed after she got into the house to help the to, to people. Right. Right. Even my, if I showed up half dressed, I was half dressed. I was trying to get them because and then you said, come on in. Anyway. Don't worry about it, baby. Really. <laughs> and that's your problem if you consented. <laughs> Now, does it take 20 minutes if you consented? No, no. It could. <laughs> but you gotta at least lure me into the bedroom. Do you see what I mean? Right. And I gotta be in a vulnerable position for you to knock me out. Right. If you knock me out. Right. Or try to knock me out. <laughs> Which I would also talk about the girl from the orchid, the girl, right? <laughs> and the girl named Michelle at the Chinatown buffet, right? Mm hmm. If her name was Michelle, too, right? And would tell her I also dream of someone who looked similar to you, right? right. <laughs> of course, of course. So again, it's up to you. You can say yes, no, or maybe. I mean, if you, you're here to fix the cable, I can put on my shorts and you go about fixing the cable. Right? I just got a little confused. Right? You got to prove it in court, though. And see, I got different kind of witnesses right? to prove I was blacked out before. Right? See, I ain't got to prove I was blacked out for however long I was blacked out if I was blacked out and had memory loss. That could be even a pattern now. I can't explain it if you're lying about something yourself. <laughs> See, two liars never live. They're both lying. They're both hiding details. Unless someone's trying to tell the whole truth, even what he don't remember, he did. <laughs> and you see what I mean. Right. They're trying to press my buttons and they're not. Right. <laughs>